Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, with you for another Mayhem Minute at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please support everything going on, including our friends at uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. You pick up some really cool indie shows there, uh, including a lot of familiar names, actually. Tommy Dreamer recently in IWC, etc., etc. But anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, this story. Uh, I'm look- It was brought up, actually, last night briefly on the Wrestling Mayhem show for this week. I believe it's 461 if you're looking for that one. Um, and uh, Fo- Fox Sports picked up on this story, according to WrestleZone, by way of WrestleZone.com. Uh, Fox Sports picked up on WWE fans' reaction, uh, fans who were uh, forced to uh, change. Um, now, what happened, and according to this, uh, in Des Moines, there was this poor, I feel so bad. I would be pissed, too. I would never buy a WWE product after after something like this would, might pop up. But uh, it looks like uh, there was, they, they had 10 tickets, about $100 a piece. So they're like, hey, we paid over $1,000 to go to your WWE event. There was 10 people in the front row. And they were dressed as various WWE legends. I think somebody was dressed as Ric Flair, uh, Macho Man, you know, and the like. Um, and within 10 minutes of the show starting... Uh, they were told, and apparently, like starting like Raw itself, not you know the superstars tapings or anything like that. Uh, they were told that their outfits were too distracting and to change clothes, or they would be moved. And, um, and, and yeah, you don't want. It's I guess supposedly they weren't being belligerent, they weren't being unruly. They were doing, you know, they're being fans, right? And trust me, it probably gets more belligerent up in the cheap seats where where I was for Raw last week. Um, this and I mentioned, like, I think there might be something of a game of telephone going on here to a certain extent. Because, uh, well, I mean, well, we're talking about signs and everything being removed, but I guess this is probably more of a direct result. But I, I feel like there's been a lot. There's a guy that's dressed up as a clown in the corner of your show for for a good while. WWE and these guys that pay that love your product and love your characters so much that they're cosplaying as them at a show and 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 one thing is like i understand the you can't wear a mask or something like that right you know kind of issue that is a security issue but i don't think that's what was happening there just like the macho man or something like that right Uh, it's too distracting i think that's that's it's great to see something like that at ringside if i'm a person watching raw and i see somebody so into it that they're dressed up as these guys I mean, I that I feel like that's something you would showcase. First of all, like back in the day, uh, you know, when you weren't assholes, WWE. Um, this is horrible, and now you have this big story that freaking hit spot Fox Sports. I really hope whoever picks this up, you know, if like tri- Triple H, Vince, like this crosses their desk, they are berating whoever made this decision. Um, it's just bad. First of all, it's bad customer service. You know, you. you you know your clients, your your customers are coming in to, to have your product. Unless I don't know, maybe WWE just thinks of everybody that buys a ticket to their RAW event as extras, as TNA does. Um, you know, and 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 have less of a case on because when they, whatever that word came out, they were people getting in free at Universal Studios to their tapings, and they were kind of extras in that kind of case. Um, and there's no applaud sign or boo sign or anything like that, right? But especially like somebody in the front row like that that paid that much money, um, unless they're doing something really, really rough and really, really distracting. Um, but I think that that does not fall into uh, that purview. And I think w, one WWE, I, I hope, especially since and they probably will since this has gotten national exposure now. Um, I hope they do make right by it at least and uh, you know, refund the tickets, give them merch, do something. I guess supposedly they all got WWE shirts. I guess plain WWE shirts. So I hadn't seen the pictures and I, I hadn't noticed when I was kind of passively watching Raw this week. Um, but uh, but the, but the, that story that story upsets me um, along with the the stories of the signs being removed for Daniel Bryan. Yet a turd sign makes it on on TV this week. Um, thank you, whoever freaking wrote that one on on SmackDown, because you know classy freaking television that is. Um, but uh, no, it's it's this is WWE is the eight hundred pound gorilla, and they're throwing their weight around. And fans are going to start rebelling. But thankfully, as we talk about on the Indie Mayhem show and so other places, there are alternatives if you feel like you got slighted like this at WWE. And uh, you won't have to pay $1,000 to get front row for that indie show. 
usually. Hopefully you got a good one. I don't know what indie wrestling's like in Des Moines. Go check out if, uh, your thoughts on this. Let us know on the comments on here. Hit me up at Sorgatron on the Twitter or at Mayhem Show on Twitter for the show so everybody sees it. And we'll converse with you. And I'm really curious what you guys think about this situation. I know I'm going a little long for the minute this morning. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, leave comments. Check it out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please subscribe to this and so many other great podcasts we're doing over there. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.